So my Morozumi spoke threading machine is now just about 10 years old. It's almost exactly 10 years ago when I bought it. Uh, I don't have an accurate account of how many spokes I've put through it, but it's uh, many tens of thousands of spokes that it's cut and threaded. Uh, I've put uh, new dies in it once, and uh, it's almost due for a, a second die replacement. So, um, I see that uh, Wheel Fanatic has a digital electronic counter that can be hooked up to it to... Uh, you know, uh, count the uh, number of spokes that go through it. And I'd actually, that reminded me that 10 years ago when I bought this thing, I actually bought a, uh, a mechanical counter on eBay that I was going to hook up to it. And um, I never, uh, never really got around to it. So now I'm thinking that uh, before I put the next uh, new set of dies in, that I'd like to rig this thing up. So what I'm thinking is because the, the movable die is probably the best way to, uh, really the only way to uh, activate the, the counter. I'm thinking some way of mounting it so that when the, uh, when the movable die drops down that it will click it over and uh, the trick will be to mount it at the right level so that, uh, so that it activates the counter. So as I measure it here, it looks like an inch and a quarter is exactly the height we need to block it up to to uh, have the movable die actuate the counter. So I found a, uh, a stair railing spindle at the Home Depot uh, that had exactly inch and a quarter across there. So that was about as... Uh, cost-effective ways I could do it. So I cut a couple pieces off and laminated it together. The glue should be dry now, so we'll give that a try. I'll just... Uh... Alright. So we're just, we're exactly at the right height that when the movable die drops it ticks over the counter. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a little paint job there just so it uh, matches in a little bit better and uh, then we'll mount it up. So I've got our support block painted up there. Uh, now the uh, counter conveniently comes with mounting holes. So we'll line that up on that like so. And I'll just screw that down with some number six uh, half inch screws. Now when it comes to uh, screw head interfaces uh, Sorry to the rest of the world, but Canada's got the got you beat with the Robertson screw. <laughs> Try that with a Phillips. Uh, see how convenient that is. All right, let's make sure we get that centered on there. Okay, so I've got the counter mounted to the block. Now the next thing we have to work on is uh, fastening it down to the tray. So for that, I'm going to use the 3M VHB tape. If you've never used this stuff before, I mean, if you want to fasten something down, that's, <laughs> it, it'll be stuck forever with that. So I've uh, put a piece of that on the bottom, but first, before I peel off the backer, I'm just going to locate this thing where I want it to go. And, okay, so that seems to be good. I'll just mark that with a, with a Sharpie. Check it. Okay, we're good. All right, so peel off the backing. Carefully put it down because once you put it down, it's down forever. Try and get it square if we can. All right, perfect. So every time we thread a spoke, Counter ticks over. So 
So we've got uh, six digits on the counter, so it'll count to 999,000. I don't think I'll ever have to go beyond that. Anyway, that should work. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.